Greetings, everyone. Today, we delve into the essence of the 10x rule as elucidated by Grant Cardone in his book. The 10x rule revolves around the concept of setting goals at a magnitude 10 times larger than our current beliefs and committing to 10 times the effort required for their realization. One of the core messages emphasizes the significance of setting ambitious goals as many individuals often underestimate their potential. By expanding our vision and putting in tenfold effort, we pave the way for unprecedented success. The book illuminates how this approach transforms our mindset, empowering us to dream bigger and achieve more through diligent and sustained effort. Chapter 1 What is the 10x Rule? This 10x rule rests on the knowledge that success requires thinking bigger and putting more effort than you think you can. This method also works in business, success comes only when you try 10 times more than competitors. So, if you want to sell something and think that making 10 phone calls a day will help you, you should aim to make 100 calls daily and try your best to make 100 calls. Similarly, to achieve the goals you want in different areas of your life, work 10 times more than what is required, by doing this, you will achieve them quickly. Chapter 2 Why is 10x necessary You may face many challenges and difficulties on the path to success. So to tackle these challenges, always keep your goal 10 times bigger to ensure that you work 10 times harder than you need to do to achieve your goal. And even if sometimes you fail to achieve your goal, never blame it on the external situation, which means a bad market, bad economy, or any external thing to the plan. Instead, think you have not been trying as hard as needed. And work 10 times harder. Chapter 3 Success We have seen many times in history that only making good stuff is not the reason for a company's success. Instead, Success comes from having the right attitude, thinking, and facing unknown challenges. This is why the 10x rule book also talks about facing unknown challenges. By aiming as high as the 10x rule states, you will work harder to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Imagine that when most people want to sell only 10,000 items, you aim to sell one lock in your line. Keeping this many goals means that when you get a lot of orders, you will succeed there, and in such a situation, you will be successful by completing your target, but even if some work is done, then even more than others. You will be successful, and in this way, you will be successful in every situation. Success is your responsibility, you do your best for yourself, your family, your company, and the world around you. You should achieve immense success in life and everything necessary for the world, your family, and yourself. So don't keep yourself under the deception that successful people succeed only based on their luck. Instead, success depends on hard work and the right actions. Chapter 4 There is no short road to success. The 10x rule book provides some self-explanatory instructions for success. First, people understand that success is only for others, not for them. It is also imperative to clear this illusion and remember that there is no limit to winning. And secondly, it is not necessary that if a person is successful in the work, then you will be in the same way, maybe you will get immense success by your continuous hard work, so instead of falling into any shortcut, work hard and wisely. Concentrate on working. Apart from this, anyone with a 10 times mindset can achieve success, and it is not that who should attain success at someone else's cost. For example, if you successfully bring a better cell phone to market, you have made a good contribution offer that will benefit everyone. Even if other people in business look at it with jealousy, they will still learn something from your contribution and attitude to achieve their success. Believe that you're in control of everything, to be successful, you must take responsibility for every little and big thing in your life, even if it's not your fault. If you want to be successful, 
you must give up the habit of making excuses and procrastinating. Successful people misunderstand the accusation game, that is, the habit of blaming others. To reach where you want to get in your life, you have to accept that you and you are responsible for everything that happens. And also the responsibility of making it better. So focus on your karma to step back from the responsibility. 4 Degrees of Success Have you heard of the 4 Degrees of Success? If not, then let us know about it. This is a straightforward idea that if you are faced with a situation, you can react in one of the four ways to deal with it. The first way is you either do nothing, go back, normal work, or work to fix it in a big. To see this fact in reality, watch the kids. Whenever they face a challenge, they put in whatever they have, they do not stop to calculate or save their abilities, so they are happy. And successful people also adopt this habit, so they are successful. So instead of bookkeeping how long it will take you to complete a task, make it a habit to work on a large scale. For example, if you have to sell any of your goods to an officer in the market, try to persuade the officer in every way instead of judging your hard work. Do as much research as you can or put as much effort as possible, but don't give up until it's sold out. Being average and planning for it is a failed way. Imagine how many people aim to be middle class. To be moderate means to think about today and tomorrow, not thinking about the future. The danger is that the average can turn into a mediocre job in a short amount of time. The financial crisis of 2008 is proof that it affected the middle class very much and brought them to the edge of poverty. It is proved here that aiming to be average is not enough. So think about what average means to you and make your goal 10 times bigger accordingly, by doing this, you will be successful for many years. What does the 10x target say this means that you should aim very high beyond your miraculous dreams. It might seem silly today, but when you set a tiny goal, you remain disappointed even after achieving it, and if you miss attaining that goal, you feel defeated. Huh. And it's better to fail to accomplish bigger goals than to achieve goals out of the ordinary. For example, if your goal is to become a writer, then your goal should not be to write a short story of two pages but a novel. Because even if you fulfill the purpose of writing your short story, you will not consider yourself a writer. And after writing a successful book, there is a 90% chance that you will become a successful writer. Passion is not a disease but a gift. To reach success and overcome challenges, you must have passion for your goals, you must let them dominate your thoughts and make them your objective. This is another area where children can be a good source of inspiration for us. Whenever children face something new, they put their whole life into doing that exciting work. You, too, have to do the same to be successful. When others see how serious you are about your goal, they will follow you after seeing your wildest dreams. But if you fail to show seriousness towards your goals, people will hardly believe in you and your goals. That's why being passionate about your plan is an essential quality, but it is equally necessary to avoid despair from failures and avoid the excuses of failure. That is to say, you should have a passion for doing just the right thing. Fear is a sign. If you are afraid while doing something big, your fear is a sign that you are on the right path and moving in the right direction. On the other hand, if you have no fear, your goal is too small or you are driving on the wrong path. And remember that most of the time, the things you never fear happen. Don't look at your fear as an excuse or a sign to hold back but as a green signal to move on. Most unsuccessful people stop moving forward because of their fear. But to succeed, you also have to do what others refuse. Myth of Time Management To be successful, you need to control your time and emotions. Unfortunately, time is limited, so people worry a lot about time management. 
Whatever the case, the question here is not whether you can choose between time management and emotional control, but which one you should encourage the mindset that makes everything possible and getting what you want to achieve. The only way here is to think about accomplishing more work in less time. Keep a close eye on your time, work hard, and use your time efficiently and wisely. To understand this, consider the author's life a good example. After the birth of his daughter, he started getting up an hour earlier than his fixed time so that he could spend more time with his daughter and his wife could rest. Yet, despite all this, he worked as much as he used to. So in this way, he started spending quality time with his family and work, which is the dream of many of us. Therefore, manage time wisely to work towards your goal and spend time with your loved ones. Avoid these mistakes when making goals. The biggest mistake many people make in life is not setting goals properly. So in such a situation, the 10x rule makes you feel like thinking about how you will achieve great success at the level of trying in the beginning, do that according to it, and start with what you can do from now on, think about that, and so on. Keep going one by one. Why do you keep working once you have achieved good financial success because you can be happy accomplishing things, you should keep your goal to earn money and add value to people's lives through your work. In your fixed time, do only the fixed work with full attention if you are working, then only during work and family time only family and nothing else. Criticism is a sign of success. Whenever you are criticized for your work, understand that people start paying attention to your work, and you are on the right path to success. Because without criticism, there is no way to be successful. No matter what you do in life, you will face criticism. So always remember that customer feedback is precious, even if negative because it shows how to improve. And take this lesson and adopt that to achieve success in life, one needs to focus on it and avoid doing everything other than talking about the people who contribute to it. Customer satisfaction is the wrong goal. The only thing you don't have to do to be successful is that you don't have to follow in the footsteps of people who adopt the goals imposed on them by social trends, which might be vital to them. Take, for example, the idea of customer satisfaction. Even though people are constantly told that customers are significant, most companies do not have many customers initially. That's why their first goal should be to make more and more customers because if there are more customers, you will also be able to earn good money and satisfy them through exemplary service. Not only this but with the 10x mindset, you don't need to live with a low customer satisfaction rate because working with this mindset will always make you live up to people's expectations. And family, you can channel your energy into finding new customers. And it is also a fact that big companies like Google and Apple pay more attention to customer satisfaction than customer satisfaction. Because they know that the more people talk about their brand, the more successful they will be. Don't make excuses. Excuses are never the real reason behind not being able to do anything. You make excuses to make yourself feel a little more comfortable. But by making excuses, you cannot change your situation, but only by facing the actual problem can you move forward. And remember, excuses are for people who don't take responsibility for their lives. But successful people never make excuses because they know their success and failure depend on them. That's why excuses are the main factor determining whether you will succeed in your life. Success and Failure the difference between successful and unsuccessful people is that successful people have different thinking, behavior, and attitude toward looking at problems than most people. Successful people also have different thinking about money. Success is no different from any other ability. If you repeat the mindset and actions of successful people, you can also become successful. And remember that success is not what you get by luck, Success is what you get by your hard work. 
That s why the simple lesson is that we should learn from the people who have achieved the success we want and adopt their habits in life to be successful. Keep moving forward. To live by the 10x rule means to keep pushing yourself always. Ultimately the road to success goes along with the development of yourself and your belongings, and it is always better to fail than to back down. So to achieve your goals, you have to divert your attention from external distractions and keep moving towards achieving the goals that you want to achieve. For example, if you started your YouTube by putting one video every week, then improving it over time by giving good quality and informative videos every five then four days and uploading more and more videos like this in working time. So keep doing your work while doing it. Do not let the fire inside you, 10x after working and moving on. Never let the fire inside you go out, and always keep adding fuel of enthusiasm to it. Newton's Law of Motion states, a moving object is always in motion. That s why you never stop after achieving one success, instead, set bigger goals to achieve more considerable success. Because success requires constant effort and attention, always keep moving forward. Always think, how will it be done anyone who has ever played a card game knows it is risky to put everything at stake. If you win, you can take home a lot, but if you lose, you will lose everything. It is a good thing that, according to this rule, investing everything in life for success is a little less risky. The betting approach in the 10x rule means investing your strengths, abilities and plans to reach your goals. First, to achieve your big goals, break them into small parts and then put your all into achieving them. Putting your life also means you think differently to solve your problems on the way to success. Because when you set high goals, then you will have to face many issues in it. And such serious problems often crush those who do not try to find solutions to those problems. So you have to face those problems wisely by using your last strength drop. Whatever you do to win, don't follow in the footsteps of the losers. And always think about this and how to plan for this thing can be successful. Break the middle class thinking. As we have already discussed, the middle class mentality is such that people only worry about their present and don't care about their future. The middle class is not a section of society but a mentality. Even a millionaire person can have the thinking of the middle class, and so can a human being. But the real difference lies in the life that comes from this mindset. On one side, the middle class struggles for money throughout life, and the same triumphant achieves happiness and extra success with money. Therefore, by eliminating middle class thinking, keep thinking successfully. Build your name recognition. One thing that is very important to keep in mind is the recognition of your name. Therefore, you should consider your name your most valuable asset and take it seriously regarding what you are known for. For example, when people think of MP3, they think of Apple, when they think of any taxi service, they think of Ola or Uber. So do what these successful companies have done and the services you want to provide, promote them with complete confidence and always keep your quality reasonable. Once you have established your niche in the market, get ready to work. List your goals, plan what you want to do next, and put your all into achieving what you have at that time. The 10x rule is based on the knowledge that it takes more effort than you think to succeed. The 10x rule is a weapon that allows you to advance your capabilities to achieve everything you want. Success is not what you get by luck, success is what you get by your hard work. You must have passion for your goals to overcome challenges, let them dominate your thoughts and make them your objective. To achieve your goal, you have to divert your attention from external distractions and keep moving towards achieving the goals that you want to achieve. You should focus more on increasing the customer rather than customer satisfaction. These are the valuable lessons and principles of success that I've shared with you today, my friends. 
I trust you've gained valuable insights. Now, it's time to integrate these principles into your life and progress towards your own definition of success. Keep moving forward with determination and purpose.